Welcome back to Jesus Calling for October 13th. Be compassionate. Let's look at 1 Peter 3 verse 8. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 says, Finally, all of you, live in harmony with one another. Be sympathetic. Love as brothers. Be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil for evil or insult with insult, but with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. Be compassionate. Everything was going wrong for Randa Rogland of Pinson, Alabama. Her husband lost his job. He was battling with health issues, and the couple's three-year-old son, who was autistic and nonverbal, was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma. That's when Randa opened the mailbox and found an anonymous note from a neighbor criticizing her lawn for falling into disrepair. Randa posted the note on social media to encourage others to be patient with their neighbors because we never know what kind of hardship others are bearing. The post spread from person to person, and the next day a lawn service showed up to take care of her grass. Volunteers came in to work inside and outside the house, and others brought groceries. Somehow a nasty note brought a community together. If a nasty note can create such unity, think about the power of inspired scripture. The world is divided and angry, but when we saturate our minds with scripture and develop the mind of Christ, it creates unity in our churches and homes and with others. It makes us tender-hearted. The Holy Spirit imparts a courteous mind. That is a great story. I really like that, how the whole community came together. And you do never know what people are going through. So it is good just to always practice grace and just help you know, people that are in need. I mean, look at all the things that, that that poor family needed and look at all the different neighbors that came around and blessed them. I have an example of this just today. When I was coming home, a man kind of sideswiped my car a little bit. But um, when I got out, it sounded really like he hit me hard, but it just kind of scraped a little bit. And he was an old guy and he was really upset. And I was like, you know what? I already have scratches on my van. It's okay. I opened up the door and it still worked. And so I just thought, I'm just going to let this go. And he was so amazed at the grace that I gave him. And who knew if he was already having having a bad day. So I hope today, if somebody does something wrong to you, that you just extend grace to them and just say, you know what, it's okay. I'm, it's no big deal. And just really help someone else in need. If you have a neighbor nearby, think about that. If you can rake their leaves or give them groceries or give them a gift card, there's lots of ways to help each other and all of our neighbors around us. So I hope today you have a great day extending grace to someone or helping someone in need. That'll make a great day for you and for them. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of Strength for Today by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you lean on God's strength and have a fantabulous day.